I built this tabletop using one 5 8 inch 4 by 8 foot sheet particle board, six 1 by 8 select pine boards, and a one 2 by 2 board, and it cost me a total of $193.76. And then I like to add another $15 to $20 in miscellaneous items, including things like wood glue, biscuits, screws, and all other little items that you might buy in bulk at a cheaper price. So here I've got my six select pine boards laid out together. They're eight feet long and I've laid them on clamps. I was a little picky about the ones that I picked at the store. I wanted them to have the same shade and grain so that I would have a more seamless look. And so they've already been milled. I don't have to worry about planing them or anything like that. So now I've got them in the order that I feel is best and I am going to go and mark them all. I'm marking them like one left, two left, three left, four left, so that I know after I join them with biscuits where they need to go. And I'm marking a line down, probably about a foot apart, down each board so that I can join them with the biscuits. And that is really just for alignment purposes while the wood glue dries. And here I am using the biscuit joiner following the lines that I had marked on my board and I really love this tool. It's a really simple, quick, easy way to join boards together and have a nice alignment and it doesn't take long at all. Um, if you don't have this tool, you could use pocket holes and screw from the bottom, uh, whatever your preference is, or just use clamps and wood glue it together yourself. Once I was done cutting all the biscuits, I put them in and I kind of lined everything up just to make sure everything was gonna be fitting right before I went and glued them all. So this was just a little test fit really quick before I got my husband and started gluing it together. And here we are gluing the pieces together. I was really worried about how this was gonna work and the glue drying too fast because it was so hot outside and dry today, but it turned out to work really well. We got it done and we clamped it together and it seemed to work really well. This is my first time building a tabletop with the biscuit joiner. And honestly, this is only my second dining tabletop that I have built ever. And I am really happy with how well the biscuit jointer aligned my pieces together and made for a lot less sanding later on for me. Once the table had dried, it was time to do lots and lots of sanding, which is by far my least favorite thing to do in woodworking, but it's just a necessary evil. So after several, several rounds, I finally got it all sanded down nice and smooth. So the tabletop that I needed for this table was supposed to be a lot thicker than the 3 4 inch board that I used. So to make it thicker, I took the panel that I had glued up and I basically laminated it to a piece of the particle board. And I went around and at first we had used staples to staple everything together and try and get it flush, but that didn't really work. When we looked at the boards, we noticed that it really wasn't tight and that there were lots of gaps. So we had to go back through and screw a whole bunch of screws in the back of the board into the top of the table. Once that was dry, we flipped it over and I used the jigsaw to cut all the excess particle board off around the edges. You can use a circular saw to do this as well. And then once I had finished using the jigsaw to do that, we went around with a flush trim bit on the router 
and made sure everything was nice and flush before we put the trim pieces on. The last part of the build was to put the trim pieces on, which you could buy separate trim pieces yourself already milled and ready. I just took my two by two and I split it into thirds, ran it through my drum sander, and then after measuring the edges of the table, I took them and I glued and nailed them around the edges. And here's a little sneak peek at the base of the table as well that I will be doing a tutorial on and I will do that in my second video. So keep an eye out for that video. With the trim pieces on, I filled all the little cracks and nooks and crannies that I needed to with wood filler and then did a one last sand around the whole thing to make it nice, smooth, and flush. With the top finally finished, I took a polycrylic clear coat and I did several layers on top of the wood. I wanted to leave a natural look for this tabletop. And so I followed the recommended suggestions and instructions on the gallon of polycrylic. And I sanded between layers and I did several layers. And this is what I ended up with. I really love how this turned out. I hope that you like it too. Please comment, like, subscribe. I appreciate the support. And if you want to see the base of my table and the complete project, then keep the lookout for the next video coming up soon.